Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the QSW 3081C. Hey guys and for today's hardware review I'm going to look at the brand new QNAP affordable 10 GBE combo switch. This is for people that are looking at a switch to upgrade their existing one gigabit network to something a little bit more fluid, a little bit more functional, but unmanaged and therefore incredibly affordable. This device arrives uh, about £180, give or take, and of course available from the guys at Span.com. Because it's a network switch and not a NAS, I will try to keep things a lot shorter today because ultimately switches, you can talk a lot about them, but this device and today's video isn't so much about this piece of hardware. It's more about the audience this is aimed at and the evolution of devices like this and QNAP. So without further ado, let's talk about why this device is so important. First and foremost, QNAP is a brand that's heavily associated with NAS. If you've watched my other videos and indeed the unboxing video of this, you will know more about it. A lot of, if you've watched the unboxing video, probably a lot of this you're already going to know. But QNAP NAS is a brand that's been around for a long time. But over the last couple of years especially, we've seen them move away from traditional network attached storage but don't get me wrong, still keeping a foot in, but di you know, diversifying their portfolio into all of these network accessories and continuing to underline that point that I make about them being the true innovators of this in industry, particularly in hardware. This switch here is designed for users that currently have standard one gigabit network, a one gigabit network. So maybe you're using the uh, router that your ISP gave you. Maybe you bought a cheap little D-Link or Network Gear switch that's four, five, or eight ports for about between 40 and 80 quid, and you've realized that it's just not cutting it. Maybe you're video editing, maybe you're content creator like me, hello, or perhaps you're doing large-scale backups, and these files are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Consequently, you're looking to make the moves into 10GBE, and maybe, like me, you've been watching QNAP release a number of solutions that allow you to take advantage of things like Thunderbolt, and USB, such as the adapters behind me, and allow you to connect with these simple connections to five gigabit networks and 10 gigabit networks. But while you're doing that, you still need a switch that can give you the kind of advantages of that connectivity over a wider scale. This is where this device lives. It gives you the ability for a frankly small sum for what it can do, and allows you to open the doors to things like fiber-based 10 GBE and copper-based 10 GBE within your standard one gigabit network while still taking advantage of 10 GBE. So the device itself, when you get it, as, it, as mentioned in the unboxing video, you've got your quick start installation guide, got two years of warranty, it's got an external power brick and a rather funky external PSU. And although it's external, this rather compact device also allows you to attach this PSU in a weirdly controllable fashion here on the rear. Now, this external bit, when I first saw it, made no sense to me. When I first saw it, I didn't realize it was connected to the PSU. I just thought it was a weird design quirk they went for to make it look a bit retro 80s sci-fi, but it really isn't the case. This um, external switch, which is an eight port, one GBE, three port SFP and one port 10 GBE combo, we'll talk about it in a bit, this device is designed for set up and forget. It's designed to live on a shelf or under the table or just in a cupboard somewhere and be unnoticed. And this little um, cable thing here on the rear allows it to be completely wall flush if so necessary because the external PSU bit on the back can move. Don't get me wrong, it's a weird little quirky design thing and I'm still not 100% certain why they did it, but I like it. I know a number of you won't in the same way a number of you do not like external power bricks, but that's an opinion. And talking of opinion, we can talk about the fact that this is fanless. This uh, switch uh, features no internal fan and relies on passive heat disbursement here on the side and heat dissipation with heat sinks inside the device. The result is that when this is running, it makes next to no noise. There's LED lights, of course, for each of those individual ports, and anyone that's ever crawled around on the ground trying to get two things to see each other on the network will value any kind of LEDs. And going to that combo subject, we can talk about the front of the device and these ports here. Because 
These eight ports, remember, it's a unmanaged switch. That means you don't have priority port control. You don't have link aggregation or port trunking. What you have is eight ports that allow eight devices here with one gigabit ethernet port to see each other on the network. But further from that, you have the ability to attach fiber-based connectivity. So copper with RJ45 and fiber with SFP. This allows you to take advantage of fiber-based connectivity, which allows you to span far, far greater distances while still having very, very low latency and that 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity. Though it is worth remembering that fiber requires you to utilize a little transceiver on the end of each cable or a DAC cable, which has kind of default transceiver on the top. SFP is an expensive form of 10, uh, of 10 GBE, but it's worth mentioning that in terms of distance, it is unparalleled. And that if you are going to utilize standard copper uh, based 10 GBE, otherwise known as 10 G base T, after about 20 meters, you do start to notice latency um, getting worse. So it's worth remembering that if you are looking at investing in 10 GBE moving forward. That said, the reason this is going to be so popular and the reason I like it, and you will almost certainly see this become the switch that I use here in the background of these videos, is because of the combo. This allows you to take advantage of one of two modes. You can utilize a standard SFP environment on its own. You've got three 10 GBE ports here, allowing three devices to have 10 gigabit ethernet at once, or you can set it up to utilize one copper 10 G base T port combined with an SFP port in that network. Now bear in mind, by combined, I just mean that they're on the same network. It doesn't allow you to combine all those ports together. And link aggregation is not supported on this device, but the ability to, in one mode, hence the combo in the title, allows you, uh, in one mode, to have one network that has one GBE copper, 10 GBE fiber, and 10 GBE copper as well, all on one environment with each of their physical differences is very, very advantageous. And again, at 175, 180 quid, that is damn impressive. And something, if anyone was going to do it at this level, at this size, at this affordable uh, limit, I definitely would have put my money on QNAP. Don't get me wrong, two and a half years ago, I didn't think they'd have a switch. Shows you what I know. But if you are looking at a switch to upgrade your network in a far more granular, gradual, uh, gradual fashion, this could very well be the device for you. Now, again, this business of it being um, unmanaged and fanless will be very unappealing to a number of you out there, and I get that. But you have to remember, this isn't designed with users who are far more pro, um, professional in mind. It does have professional users in its kind of target, but the idea is that this should serve as a middle ground, not a compromise, a middle ground. If you're utilizing a one gigabit network and you want to introduce 10 GBE granularly or into your network environment, this is very much the device for you. And again, utilizing the USB to 5 GBE adapter like this one, utilizing 10 GBE upgrade cards that are very, very affordable right now, utilizing Thunderbolt, to 10 GBE adapters, these kind of connections, these kind of add-ons only cost you somewhere for as low as 50 or 60 quid to about 160 to 200 quid with the tax. Those upgrades will allow you to take advantage of higher speeds via this switch too. So this allows you to upgrade your network environment far more strategically and get more for your money. This and a couple of those isn't going to break over a over 500 pounds and with that you suddenly have two devices at 10 gbe and the scope to go further that's why this is important if you need more than that if you need several 10 gb devices communicating at once if you're looking into the option of link aggregation this is probably not for you and for you users i recommend you check out something with a little bit more oomph or hold out for that qnap guardian switch something i'm really excited for do check out that video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, if you are interested in getting hold of this, either go to the NAS Compare article below for far more information about this device, how it runs, speed, and more. Alternatively, go to span.com with 25 years in the biz for um, to purchase this device from people that know what they're doing with free pre- and post-sales tech support. But otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
do click like and subscribe to learn more and be notified about other great releases from QNAP and other big brands in NAS and networking in general. And thank you so much for enjoying today's video. If you didn't enjoy it, there's another button down there for you too. But otherwise, see you next time.